Good morning and welcome to story time. Thank you for joining in today. Happy, happy, happy Tuesday to all of you out there. Thank you so much for joining in today. And of course, it is election day here in the US. So please, please do make your voice count. Let your voice be heard. Go and vote if you can, if you've not done so yet. And also, please do take a moment to remind your neighbor if they need it to go and do so. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time today. And welcome. Together, we are unstoppable. This one is by Adam Rex and Laura Park. Unstoppable. I hope you're ready for a good laugh. And indeed, uh, uh, see how community does when it works together. Good morning to you and welcome to Story Time. Thank you so much for joining joining us today. Yes, indeed, election day. Please do participate. Do make your voice count. And also let us stay calm and wait on those results as they come in, as they'll be trickling in from the different parts. But yes, hopefully your person gets to take the day and hopefully we put leaders in power that we can hold accountable and leaders that will deliver. Thank you so much for joining in today. Unstoppable. Good morning to you. I hope you're loving our lineup so far. We started off yesterday with um, with um, slowly, slowly, slowly said um said the slot by uh, eric Carle, and today we're moving on into unstoppable and we have three other books great books in the lineup for this week good morning to you and welcome to story time please let us know where you're joining us from and who indeed is joining in with you as a, as always it is a pleasure for me to be here with you and i am glad to share this story with you unstoppable by Adam Rex and Laura Park. And of course, we are reading it with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Yes, a big, big supporter of Storytime with Mr. Limada. Thank you so much for joining in today. Let us see who is with us and what you are up to on this special Tuesday. Danny Rodriguez, how are you doing today? Isabella, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Leslie, and good morning to you, Luis. I hope your classes are going well. Isabella, I will see you in class very soon. I'm happy that you're here to join in for story time. Madalena Ayan, good morning to you. How are you doing today? Tudo, good to see you here. It's been a minute, but good to see you. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope everything is well with you. Jade and Eva Scarlett, good morning to you. Welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in. Ellen Edwards in Chicago, how are you doing today? Ellen, how are you? Thank you so much for joining in and I hope you are doing okay and indeed just waiting on those votes and those count to come in. Abri Mayu, how are you doing? Noah and Lucy, good morning to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely love it. Yes, good morning one more time, Tudo and Madalena, and reminding us that you are in San Francisco. Yes, right next door. Good morning to you. And of course, glad you're back. Glad to see you here always. Puts a bigger smile on my face. Thank you so much. Good morning to you, Isabella, Luis, and Leslie one more time, right here in Oakland. Harmony Beth, how are you doing today? Are you ready for Unstoppable by Adam Rex and Laura Park? Good morning to you. Anna Lima, love, love the picture. Yes, glad you voted. Please make your voice count. Let your voice be heard. If you've not done so, please find your way to a polling station and do that if you can, of course. But there are many other ways that we can still help remind others to get there and do it. Thank you so much for joining in today. Story time. Good morning to you, Anna Lima, joining us all the way out in Illinois as well. Evanston, Illinois. Good morning to you, Noah and Lucy in Oakland one more time. Amos Singulue, all the way out in Lusaka, Zambia. Is it? Good morning to you, my brother. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Oh, is it Makopala now, Amos? Good morning to you. <laughs> Guzman, Carolina, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Thank you for joining in story time today. Yes, I hope we can uh, enjoy this time and read together. Amos, long time indeed, but always happy to see you here, my brother. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us all the way out in Zambia. Abraham, how are you doing? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham, how are you doing? And of course, Harriet Nalungwe in Lusaka, Zambia as well. Good morning to you. Or oh, is it good evening on that side? Thank you so much for joining in. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> 
Guzman, Carolina, you say you're joining in. Yes, representing Sequoia Elementary in Oakland. Well, well, thank you so much. One of my good friends, Jeremy Wolf, is at Sequoia. Please do say hi to him. And of course, love Sequoia indeed. Thank you so much for joining in. Now, Shafer, how are you doing? Good morning to you. Oh my goodness. I hope you're not freezing out too much out in Minnesota. Good to see you. Good morning to you, Nell. Absolutely appreciate you and absolutely appreciate it that you're here for story time today. And I hope you're in for a good laugh with this one. I hope you enjoy it. Unstoppable. We'll be getting started shortly. Yes, good morning to you. Please remember to vote now. Did you vote? Yes, good morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will get started with our story, Unstoppable by Adam Rex and illustrations by Laura Park. And of course, we're reading this one with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. All right, Unstoppable. <laughs> what do you see? Those eyes. Who's that? Watch out, crab! Crab, watch out! Oh no! Crab! Oh well, I guess you didn't need my help after all, with all those clothes. Oh no! Bird! Bird! Bird, watch out! Watch out! There's a cat behind you! Well, I'm glad Bird survived that one. Ah, oh, if only I might escape this life of muddy scuttling and fly, and fly, to soar happy and carefree. Oh man, are you, are you joking? Do I look carefree? I almost got eaten by a cat. I, I just wish I could fly, that's all. And I wish I could pinch that cat on the nose with big snapping clothes. I have clothes. I can fly. Crab bird, bird rab. <laughs> Unstoppable. <laughs> Teamwork. Whoa, boy, life is perfect now. Yes, perfect. Except, except what? Oh, it's nothing. No, man, tell me. What is it? Well, I've always been a little envious of ducks. Who hasn't? They can fly and swim. Hey, can we talk to you about something? Uh -uh. <laughs> Unstoppable! <laughs> bird Roberto! Crabberto Bird! Crab Turd! Crab Turd? <laughs> We've done it, my friends! Now, nothing can stand in our way. Whoa! Not so fast. <laughs> what? What the? What was that guy's problem? Should we go back and pinch him? I think perhaps we ought not to. Hey! <laughs> Choose your battles, crab. A cat is one thing, but a bear? Ah, we should just fly away. No way. No, no way. I am going in. What's going to happen? Hey, man. Steve. Hey, Steve. I don't know why you're so ang what you're so angry about, 
But I think maybe it's because you wish you could be part of this incredible thing we've got going on. I think maybe you're lonely. I think maybe you could use some friends. What do you think? <laughs> Unstoppable! Bird Roberto Bear! Crabber Bear Bird! Terbear Bear Crab! Woo! Steve! <laughs> What are those yellow things? You haven't heard? They're digging up the lakefront and building a shopping mall. Oh no. Coming soon, a new experience in Lexide shopping. But it's our home. My friends, we are lost. I know of no animal who can stop this. I have an idea. Oh, what is this idea? The president! <laughs> I understand the problem and I want to help, but I cannot. What? But you're the queen of America. No, I am the president. You need a new law to protect your home. And the president doesn't make the law. That's the job of Congress. Who's Congress? <laughs> Unstoppable! <laughs> stop! Will they stop? Congress is called to order. All in favor of making this lakefront a protected park for all the animals forever? I, 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 What is that? Nay, nay, nay. Well, the eyes have it. Hooray! And people say, if the night is clear and your heart is true, you can still see Congressi Bedra Bero Bear flying over this great land, passing laws and pinching the noses that need to be pinched. Our national bird is an ego because it's easier to draw. <laughs> Good night, children. <laughs> well, we need Congressi Bedra Bero Bear. Absolutely. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in for that good laugh with Unstoppable by Adam Rex and Laura Park. Thank you so much for joining in, of course. Yes, remember too, I think an important point that is raised in this book is that, um, yes, it's important to vote for the president, but remember to vote down the ticket as well. There are other positions in there, school boards, council members, all the different um, positions that need our vote, that need our voice. Let's speak up and make sure we put people in those offices that will ensure a good future for our children, but also ensure that there is a just and equitable uh, life for everybody. So thank you so much for joining in. And I hope you enjoyed that good laugh, but also a big lesson in there for all of us. So today, as it is election day in America, please remember, do vote if you've not done that yet. And of course, do play your part. Remind your neighbor to do that. And also just let us stay calm and wait and see what happens. And um, yes, wait on the process to take shape. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. Very important messages indeed. But of course, a very good laugh as well. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And thank you, of course, to Chronicle Books and Adam Rex and Laura Park. Tomorrow, we are back. Yes, story time continues, elections or not. We are back tomorrow with Over and Under the Rainforest. So do join in and find out about this amazing, amazing part, um, uh, part that we have in this world, the rainforest. Very important. And find out a little bit more information about them and also what we can do to ensure their protection. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. Let us see who else was with us. Yes, good morning. And I know... Oh, Coco, I forgot you. I'm sorry. Abraham and Coco, how are you doing today? <laughs> Thank you so much for the reminder. Good morning to you one more time. Guzman, Carolina, how are you doing today out at Sequoia Elementary? Thank you so much for joining in. 
Yvonne, good morning to you. Who joined in with you, Yvonne? Thank you so much. Nell Schaefer, good morning to you. And you say it's actually 70 degrees out today. All right. Well, perfect weather for an election for sure. And you're out in Minnesota. Enjoy it. Thank you so much, Nell, for that update. Alice Lungu Bwalia, please remind me the kids, it's been a minute, I am happy you're here, good morning to you, or is it good evening to you out in Lusaka, Zambia, thank you so much for joining in, please do remind me the kids' names, I absolutely love it that you're here, Coco, one more time, good morning to you, how are you, Abraham, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope to see you again for another story right here on Storytime, the Queen of America, <laughs> yes, Analima. Good morning to you. How many bears to say, hey, Storytime community, come on over to Krabkov in Alameda um, if you live nearby. Absolutely do visit Krabkov if you can. But remember to also pay, um, uh, ensure that you're following all the safety, healthy health gu guidelines out there right now. Thank you so much. Uh, how many bears for that information? And of course, everybody joining in, there's a little piece of information for you. Jade, good morning to you. I said, I'm so happy we're back. I know this book when we're... Uh, when the crab wants to be able to fly and the yes, it's the same one. We read it before and I'm so glad that we could bring it back today. I think for election day, it was very appropriate because it does remind us that we are not only voting for the president, but we are voting for all the other positions as well and making sure that we have people in position that we can hold accountable and people that will indeed do the job. Yes, yes indeed. It is our duty and we are doing it. Let's keep doing that. Let's keep calling them out where we need to. Let's pinch those noses that need to be pinched as it is said in the book. Yes. <laughs> Chavala Jere, good morning to you. I love that name. Chavala Jere, how are you doing? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining in. And yes, Yamikani, Yelesani, Malai, and Chikondi. Beautiful, powerful names. Love them. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Thank you so much for joining in. I am glad to see you here and I'll say those names one more time. Yamikani, Yelesani, Malaika and Chikondi. Yes, indeed. Good morning to you. Jack from Portland. Good morning to you. How are you doing, my guy? Good to see you here. Thank you so much for joining in. And yes, Ross Collins, you say great story and perfect timing to read it. Um, Absolutely. Thank you so much. As always, appreciate you, Rose. And of course, Jack, good morning to you. Thank you. Tendai Chineva, Ian and Ethan out in LA. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining in. Please do stay safe during this election day. But of course, help you've had a chance to do your part. If you're able, please go ahead and make sure you voted. Make your voice count. It is much needed. Thank you so much. Ian and Ethan, thank you so much one more time. Absolutely. <laughs> Alice Lungu, thank you so much. Chitty and Bella, hugs to you from me. Thank you so much. And please, please do say hi to Auntie Grace as well. Thank you, thank you. Alice Lungu, Walia, always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much. Chitty and Bella, I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope to see you soon again, not too long, for another story here on Storytime. Ellen Edwards, reminders on election day, absolutely important. Thank you so much. Well, everybody, this has been story time for today. I am glad you could join in today. I think we had a beautiful story to read together. Great reminders. But of course, do join us tomorrow for another exciting in over and under the rainforest. Yes, I am excited about this one. And it is written by Kate Messner and with uh, illustrations by Christopher Silas Neal. So do join us for that one tomorrow. From me, it is much love as always. I wish you a peaceful Tuesday, peaceful election day out here. And of course, wherever you are, please send us glad tidings out here in the US as we await this election result from now on. But all we can do right now, we've played our part. Let us wait. Let us comfort each other. Let us, of course, indeed, remain peaceful and remain reasonable. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day today. Absolutely love being here. It is a pleasure as always. Much love from me. Hugs and love to all of you. And I will see you tomorrow when we're back with another beautiful story. Much love and bye-bye. Storytime.